It is first light and we are back down at the ledge, boosting some more gars. Uh, the winds are pretty light, swells down, but it looks like we might get a bit of rain. So we'll just have to deal with that and see how she goes, but boost out this gar, see if we can get a bit. It's gonna be a bit of a tricky wind. It's not that strong and uh, it's got a bit of end in it. So it's gonna be a tricky drift. Well, let's boost it and see what happens. Oh yeah, you did, you did. There, I see the rig, so balloon just dragging. I pulled hooks right at the ledge, so pretty devo, but nonetheless, let's boost another gar. It's an absolute black bite, but pretty bad wind. It's got a lot of end in it, and it's very light. So it's hard to get balloons out but as soon as they get out there, they just get bit. So I've just uh, re-rigged and sent another one out and I don't think it's gonna last long. It's uh, definitely what they call the morning express. So no fish on the deck yet, but plenty of bites. What a spot. Follow the fish, Jay. Solid fish. West Coast Salt hoodie bite. Yep. Get your West Coast Salt hoodies. Westcoastsalt.net, baby. Coming right at you, eh? Decent, isn't he? Yeah, he's very decent. Yeah. Not gonna be gussed out anytime soon, G. Wow. Heaps of power, eh? Wow. Probably over 50 pounds. Big fish, man. That is a big fish, bro. Going real good, G. He did that textbook swimming at you, yeah. and then just boost oh. back out, eh? Yeah, all good, G? Yeah. All good, baby. Good shot. Easy 20. Talk yeah. shit. Get bit, baby! This is your trip, Chook. Yeah, another nice one on the spin for the dirty Chook on the 85 gram short catch night. Oh, absolutely healthy fish, three good runs, stripping some line. So frothing, this is another trip maker for me. So what a beautiful place to be fishing at. What a battle, man. What a battle. As they say, talk shit, get bit, baby. Would you have done it without that West Coast salt hoodie? Nah, Absolutely wouldn't. Not. Kept me warm, kept me warm. West Make Coast sure salt hoodies, get them. Westcoastsalt.net, baby. Get them while they're hot. Big bars. The Goji G custom rod. 85 gram shore catch night. Boom. 
where are I? She's just swimming in nicely to the right there. Yep. Coming on the leader now. There he is. Nice, nice barry. A gaff now, brother. Tell me what you need. Can you see the fish? Get the fish flat. Got him? Uh, yep, free spool, G. Free spool, brother. Free spool, yeah. What's the gap shot on a one out of ten? A good one, G. A good one. It's a good fish. Yeah, boy. Talking shit and just getting bit all damn day, baby. Good fish, brother. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bit on the gas. It's been an absolute hot bite. It's gone absolute black, man. That water is golden, and uh, we've been getting bites left, right, and center. Let's get this up. Gonna get the hooks out, get some pliers, get a few picks for you. Uh, actually, actually came in pretty good. He swam in, and then had a little fight at the end there. Soko Chuko getting him on the gaff pretty bloody quick. Talk shit, get bit, baby. It's been an absolute black bite. We've already had one bite on the gas and pulled hooks. And then another bite a couple of minutes ago, and then this fish. And just before that, Sock got that fish. We haven't even got to weigh it yet. We're thinking about 20. But uh, it's been absolutely black, man. We have not been able to weigh the fish. There's shit going everywhere. Buck wild. Black down the stones. This is what it's all about, man. Two fish. Still haven't weighed this one. We're going to give it away now and see what it goes. What are you guessing, Chook? I thought 20. I'm guessing... Oh. I'm guessing 20.5. Nineteen and a half. Nineteen and a half on the spin. Go there. Yeah, yep. nineteen and a half. Yeah, that's it. All right, beautiful, healthy fish. Gonna fill it him up and get him into the angle. Get it cool. It's probably been sitting here for about half an hour. Caught in the rock pool. It's pretty cold water, so that chills him down and gets the meat better. But I'd rather do it like that rather than fill it straight away. Let's get into him. And that is what we're ended up with. Big Mackie slabs. Beautiful eating. Fat fillets. Ah, oh, pulled hawks. Pulled hawks. Big fish. Big fish, typical big fish, swimming right in now. Swimming right at me. Just got to keep that line tight. Coming straight in after a big run. Coming straight in, bros. Yep. He's on top. Mate, he's coming up on the reef. Oh, yeah. It's on the reef, Ruz. He's gonna be off. He's back on. 
Wash him off. Yeah, boy. <laughs> on the spin, he came in pretty hot and he ended up on the reef within two seconds. Not sure what we caught on the camera there, but Chuck had to go down on the lower ledge to gaff it. It didn't come in the normal bit. Probably because it was a smaller fish, he just got pumped in hard. But uh, on the shore catch night, 85 grammer on the Daiwa Spartan rod with the Dogfight 8000, 50 pound Taz line. Talk shit, get a bit of baby. That's a wrap. All right, the fishing is absolutely frothing out. But uh, that, that weather's changing a bit. The northerly's coming in. And uh, over the back here, we've got some big rain clouds that have sort of been wrapping behind us. So I'm gonna go back, flick up the drone, and, uh, and check it out. One minute ago I was out to sea and now it's behind us so we just want to have a look and see where it's coming from and see how bad it is, whether we're going to get a wet tail or not. Let's uh, get the bird up and have a sock and chook. Take off. Back at camp, it's about four o'clock in the Arvo, and uh, the swell's dropping, and the wind has basically completely dropped. Always having a bit of a spin. It's gone absolutely dead. Been watching that water for a while, and uh, she looks bloody mint. So, gonna get in, have a bit of a paddle, maybe swim around to that left reef here, and use a float line and have a look. But I'll have a look at the front first. If there's some good fish there, I'll stay there. That way, I don't have to take a float line. I can just spear fish and just pass them up to the boys. Makes it a lot easier uh, dragging the float lines cooks me a bit but uh yeah i'm already kitted up in the water another couple of minutes and uh let's hope we can get into a few Thank you. 
that's a good fish. Man. Give us a thumbs up, mate. Yeah, all good. The dive in about 13 meters. Uh, it wasn't the best shot. It was, I, I, had to, I had to take it or leave it. It was swimming away from me. I got him, shot him from behind, and uh, took me in a bit of reef. Rankin con, eh? Yeah, Rankin. Put the brakes on him, and uh, he came, came out. But I was pretty far out, so I had to swim it all the way back. It's absolutely cooked me. Absolutely exhausted. Probably go, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe eight kilo. Put on the scales in a second. Yeah, I'm not a good judge on the diversals, yeah, mate. Yeah, I reckon she'll go eight, but uh, absolute battle, man. This is war, baby. Talk shit, get bit. Nine kilo ranking. Trip maker, they call that. That is a trip maker for sure. PB. Boom. Point three. Yeah. Checking the retention rate. What's the maths on that? 5.5 kilos. Well, we got 5.5 kilos of meat out of it. It's the wings. Fillet, chicken wings, prep by Zaino. So what's that percentage rate? Over 50. 50%. Right at that end of the day. Loads of fillets, sun's setting. That's as good as it gets, eh? Especially as good as it gets.